So you want to learn how to use a graduate cylinder, right? Well, you've come to the right place. A graduate cylinder used to find the liquid mass of a substance, and the units that we use in a graduate cylinder is milliliters. That's a thousand liters. Okay, so now we actually get to the part where we measure the liquid. So for the liquid, I prepared some water, and to help you guys better see what is inside, what, what, what kind of level the water attains to in the graduate cylinder, I, I brought some food coloring, and I can just put some food coloring in the water so that it's more clear. Okay, so before we can start to calculate the mass of this liquid substance, we need to learn how to calculate these ticks. So there's basically three kinds of ticks that we need to worry about on this graduated cylinder. There's the obvious ticks, the ones with the numbers and the longest ones. There's the medium ticks that are slightly shorter than the longer ones. And there's those ticks that you can't see but you can estimate, which is what we're going to need to do if we're chemists, which we are because we're in chemistry. So um, right now this liquid seems to be at around over 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. But the thing is, water is special, so it creates a concave. So when this concave forms, we need to calculate the point at which it falls all the way down. So when we look at it closely, it's actually forming a special meniscus of the concave so it's basically like like a wave on both sides going up I don't know if you could see it really close but if you notice there's like a like this little line under by the base so that is exactly where we need to calculate so Right now, it's probably around, it's definitely under 6, 37, 38, 39. It's definitely under 39. It looks to be around just under 38 and a half. It's probably around 38.4. So between these major ticks are 10 medium regions separated by smaller ticks, which are the medium ticks. And between every medium tick is a 10 region tick that we can't see, but we have to estimate by. So that's how we're doing that. 